Okay, so a short time ago a new creation was added that intrigued me. So here is what was meant to be a quick look. Now the mod is called Thief's Hideouts, which was created by Eleonora. So you know pretty much what you're going to get before you even buy it. And can be bought for 600 credits or $6. And we'll talk about whether that's good value or not later on. Now this comes with an unmarked quest to get the key which is needed to unlock the homes. Now note the word unmarked as the clues given are pretty ambiguous at best. So some of you may love this and some may be slightly less than ecstatic. So first of all I'll go through everything you have to do to get the key and I'll show you exactly where to find the entrance to each home. And we'll start at the Red Flagon in Riften and go just behind where Delvin normally sits to find a couple of notes which hint that further clues can be found in Fall Creek. Now head over to the Jarl's Longhouse in Fall Creek and go up to the steward's room where you'll find another note, which again tells you very little, so I'll tell you exactly where you have to go. So the place we're looking for is Haldir's Cairn, which is a small cave and tomb in the southernmost part of Skyrim and was built to house the remains of the fierce Haldir. The uh, tomb is populated by ghost warriors and Draugr. It has only one interior zone and it can be found just outside Falkreath and not far from Crack Tusk Keep. This is a place for Radiant Quest, so it's a standard crypt. There's no danger in the front cave, and you can just run over and take the key from the pedestal and enter the cairn. Along the way, you'll be meeting level Draugr and ghost warriors, so uh, just deal with them in your usual way. And once you're in the final crypt, you'll meet Haldir himself, and he's a powerful Draugr caster who uses several destruction spells. Oh, and he splits into clones as well, so quick save before you start, and be careful. The loot is level, but one thing you will get is Haldir's staff, which calms less powerful opponents for 60 seconds and traps their souls should they die. Defo worth having that. But what we're really here for is a key for our new homes and we get that from this satchel which is next to the boss chest so it may be a good idea to grab it. Someone now we've got the key we'll start off well with Whiterun and simply run up to the well in the marketplace and activate the ladder and we'll have a look uh, around HUD off and uh, I won't comment for a while I'll just leave you to have a look. And as advertised, it's a very, very basic uh, hideout, very basic amenities. Uh, all the storage is safe. Uh, you've got cooking facilities, a well-rested bonus. Followers can uh, be activated and you've got these shields which allow you to fast travel to cities directly from your hideout, which is actually very handy. And over here you've got the, uh, well not the cupboard, but the Thief's Trove, and I have tested this, it does actually work, it did glitch for me uh, once, um, but it's actually seems to be working quite regularly. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, it's going to be a pretty much the same theme all the way around. So, now we'll head off to uh, Markarth. And Markarth, you'll head uh, down to the, or towards the Hag's Cure. It's, this is probably the one which should confuse most people, because Markarth is quite difficult to find your way around until you're used to it. 
Okay, now all these homes are pretty much the same, so what I'll do is I will leave uh, no narration, no HUD, and uh, just let you have a look. And here we are in solitude again just run to the marketplace and find the well there and uh, I'll leave you to have a little look around I will do a summary at the end uh, of the video don't worry And here we are in Windhelm. I've got uh, JK Skyrim on and it's blocked this particular well. Uh, so always bear that in mind. So finally here we are in Riften from the front gate as usual. Uh, this one is slightly different from the others so I'll do the little walk around uh, with no HUD etc and then I will go through a few things at the end of it. Okay, so you have it. This is uh, a similarly very small little hideout for, uh, like the others, except this one has got a lot more facilities. It's got your smelter, your forge, your alchemy lab, uh, your enchanter. Um, it's got full cooking facilities as, as well as the fast travel options, etc. Um, so this one, I take it, is going to be the main home. Anyway... I will actually give my conclusions to uh, this mod uh, right now.
Now, what do I personally think of this mod? Well, the quest was short but fun, uh, though I'm not really a great fan of unmarked quests for things I've purchased, to be honest, but some people would love it, I'm sure. The little homes or hideouts, if you will, are decently furnished and laid out, despite being small. Uh, Eleonora has put together a usual fine array of static items that make all her homes uh, nice places to be. The Universal Thieves Cachet and the ability to fast travel to cities directly from the hideout are really nice touches. But the truth is there's nothing unusual or interesting here. Eleonora's homes are pretty predictable to be honest. That doesn't make them bad, it's just if you've bought one you've kind of bought them all in some form or other. Uh, I'd say the exception being Mirwatch, which even now I would say is still one of the best homes for crafting in the game. But this is my point. I don't mind paying modders for their hard work and creativity. I truly don't. However, for $6, I want something that excites me, something original and creative. And in my opinion, this isn't that something. And to be honest, there are too many creations that are not that something at this moment in time. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Later, and I love you.